Okay, guys. We're going to talk about bondage. What is bondage? Bondage is the state of being a slave. The deliverance of the Israelites from Egypt's bondage, enslavement, oppression, captivity. What does being enslaved to the world mean? It means to enslave a person or a society, to trap them in a situation from which they cannot escape. The various cultures, cults, and religions that have enslaved human beings for untold years. When we are born into this world, we are enslaved to Satan's system. And we also are slaves to sin because we are sinful. That's why the Most High wants his people to repent, turn away from their sin, and turn back to him. There's no other way to be released from the bondage except we repent turn away from our sin and turn back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to read um, Exodus chapter 2, verses 23 to 25. It says, Now it happened in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned. They groaned in pain because of the bondage. And they cried out. And their cry came up to Ahiah because of the bondage. So Ahiah heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and Ahiah acknowledged them. So Father Ahiah remembered that covenant that he made with Abraham. And we know that Father Ahiah does not break his promises. He remembered his covenant with Abraham. At Genesis chapter 12. And it says, Now Ahiah said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. This was a covenant that the Most High made with Abraham. Not just the generation in Abraham's time, but the generations after. He said, and in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So y'all have to understand that our God is the same God. He does not change. When a nation is disobedient to Father Ahia and turns away from his laws, the Most High is no longer with that nation unless they repent and turn back to him. Okay? At Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 24 through 29, it says, all nations would say, why has Ahia done so to this land? What does the heat of this great anger mean? Verse 25. Then people would say, because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord God of their fathers, which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. For they went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods that did not know Gods they did not know and that he had not given to them. Then the anger of Ahiah was aroused against this land to bring on it every curse that is written in this book. So if our father is the same God, he does not change. And if America is committing the same sins, don't you believe he will bring the same upon this nation? That's why the nations are under judgment now. 
Verse 28 says, and father Ahiah uprooted them from their land in anger and wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day. The secret things belong to Ahiah, our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever that we may do all the work, all the words of this law. We have to follow. Follow, excuse me, we have to fo follow Father Ahia's laws, whether we like it or not, because at the end of the day, it will be his way, not our way. His way. At Malachi chapter 3, verses 6 through 7, it says, For I am the Lord, I do not change, therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. Verse seven, yet from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances, which means his law, and have not kept them. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? He's telling you to repent, America, and turn away from your sins, turn back to him so that he could heal your land. Return to him so he can bring you out of bondage. He shed his precious blood to set us free. Repent and turn away from your sins so that he can receive you. So that's what I, I wanted to talk about and kind of touch on bondage. Because when a nation, this when a nation is disobedient to father and they turn away from him thinking that they can remove him and his laws. He is no longer with that nation. That nation's enemies are allowed to come up against them and invade them, just like they are doing with America today. And many will be taken into captivity. That's why the Most High is saying, repent, repent. And turn away from your sin because it will not be worth it in the end. Y'all, we have to stay in repentance. Turn back to the most high. And I just wanted to touch on that as far as bondage. You guys have a good rest of your day.